I used to dream when I was a kid about running onto Lang Park one day and playing first grade football. To have played State of Origin here, I can certainly assure you it is a magnificent arena for rugby league. The Sydney Cricket Ground, of course, is probably just as good. If you're a New South Welshman, I suppose, because when you run onto it as a Queenslander, it's certainly not much fun at all. Well, Wally, playing on Lang Park is like being thrown into a lion's den. And I suppose you experience a similar feeling when you come down to this ground each year. The times have changed because when I was a kid, I used to barry for Queensland. They weren't as competitive then, and I suppose a lot of my mates used to do the same thing. But ever since State of Origin football started and Queensland started winning some games, the whole of New South Wales has got behind its side and given us heaps of support. And when I finally do hang up my boots and think back on my playing days, I can honestly say that State of Origin football has given me some of the best moments of my career. What a show it was. Plenty of magic moments at Lang Park for both captains as they prepared to lead their sides on for the first clash of the 1986 series. Queensland are hungry for revenge after the Blues won the series for the first time ever last year. New coaches for both teams, with Ron Willey for New South Wales and Wayne Bennett taking over the Queensland team for the first time in front of a sellout crowd of over 33,000 frantic banana vendors. As we look at the teams, Big Gavin Jones comes into the Maroons pack making his state debut, while Dave Brown has been resurrected for the front row. For New South Wales, Steve Folkes is the new face in the forwards with plenty of experience in the back line amongst Morris, Mortimer and O'Connor. The referee is Kevin Roberts. Mal Meninga ready to kick off to start the Wingfield 1986 series. And this should, should be one of the greatest games of rugby league we've seen in this country, perhaps even in the world. It's the roughest, toughest football, and it's underway. Ball fired down, taken by Jack Dow as he brings it back. Over the 10-metre line, crashes into some heavy work already, Gary Jack. Oh, big tackle in there. Pierce. Pierce makes a little break. He's done it down by Jones very quickly with a big hit from Jones. He's the biggest man on this huge Queensland side. Up comes Tucks. In go the Queenslanders again, and they belt him down on the 22 line. Back for the kick. Quarterman now drives the ball downfield. Just bounces over halfway. New South Wales offside. They can't take it the moment. It's picked up immediately. Lewis runs it. And it's a penalty to uh, Queensland. And listen to the crowd. Queensland get the early penalty, but fail to capitalise. Queensland win it with the feed. Now Lewis has it, standing and operating to miles away. It comes intercepted by Steve Morris. Morris has clear territory in front of him. No support, though. Morris brought down 42 metres out from the Queensland line. Opportunity for the Blues. No, he should have run for it. He started dropping there to get a kick in, but he should have went for it. He can, he's got equal speed to the other boy, and he had three or four yards start on him. Now, folks, from dummy half. Taking play inside the Queensland quarter. Queensland lead two to nothing. Simmons at dummy half. Straight ahead, linking up with Sterling. Now Sterling is only 10 metres out from the Queensland line. Opportunity now for New South Wales. Blind side comes Roach onto Pierce. Back to Roach. Across to Sterling. Now to Folks. A dummy. Linking up with Jack. Jack has a jump. South Wales, the first try of the night, the good one it was. Here it comes. It was Jack who juggled that pass from folks through one pretty flimsy attempt at tackling and over adjacent to the post. New South Wales lead by six points to two. Led by Sterling. It's gone with the feed again. Giving him more than a work to run around. Now linking up with O'Connor. O'Connor gets inside Lewis. Still stepping, runs behind Gary Jack, no shepherds at the referee, play on. 15 metres out from the Queensland line, New South Wales doing plenty of attacking in this game. Now it's with Pierce to Sterling, to Gary Jack, to Kenny, Kenny across to Morris. Morris caught by Shearer. 11 metres out, away to Stephen Folks, playing in his first State of Origin match for New South Wales, across to Sterling. Then to Cleo. Cleo, a one-handed pass has been slipped back to Pierce across to Morris. Quick hands from Sterling.
Well, this man has been very much involved in this game. Quill got that one-handed pass to Pierce, then back to Morris. Quick hands across to Sterling. A looping one-handed from uh, from Sterling. Found Mortimer, who stepped, and over the line he went, was able to get the ball down. The referee Roberts ruled the drive. Well, Sterling again is in this twice, but to get that ball away on the third occasion, second occasion was excellent effort. He went for it and it found a blue jumper. And Gus Mortimer, he stepped right here and got in towards it. Get it in towards the post and make that kick a little easier. With a conversion, New South Wales ahead, 12 points to two. Queensland desperately needing to score. Now we're playing with just one. Here's Dave Brown, looking up with Comescu. This big, strong second rower from North Sydney, Gavin Jones. Ten metres out as Queensland right away. Dowling puts his head down. Caught though by Thompson Roach. Kineski back to Murray. On to Lewis, a shot. attention paid to Wally Lewis here not enough to Miles because uh, they seem to be making for Lewis and he just handed over and his hand shook Miles and then he walked yep they all had their eyes on Lewis and that just one handed pass for Miles and that step and a fin past Jack into score good try and there's the conversion from Meninga and Eskew Meninga across to Miles Miles upended that time and a good tackle from uh, Noel Cleal. Gavin Jones. Oh, solid hit on Gavin Jones. Oh, goodness me. Steve Roach really came at him and hit him hard. He's been called out by the referee. Yes, you, he says. I want you. Jones burst onto the ball. Here it comes. Four, oh, uh, one around it. Oh, the chin. Well, it's uh, Kevin. I think he's getting too excited out there. That's just a matter of showing his badge, his authority. I mean, there's going to be things like that said in the heat of the battle, but if no one hears them. Uh, but if he's going to look for them, he's going to blow it all night. That damn mission. Well, that's six straight penalties have been given to Queensland to enable them to launch another attack. They still trail by two points. And here they are, 10 metres inside New South Wales territory now, with Dave Brown taking the tackle and playing it. Canescu from dummy half, made about a metre and a half. Now it's across for Murray, now with Lewis. And a cut-out pass sees Meninga running onto the ball, looking for his winger, Shearer. But only dummy to Shearer, but takes the tackle, Meninga. But now he's only 10 metres out from the New South Wales line. Queensland desperately want to put some more points on the ball before the halftime break. Lewis has long ball to Murray. Running off Murray is Miles. An overhead pass has been knocked down by New South Wales. Regained by uh, Miles again. And six tackles restarted as Queensland start again. Murray. Just 20 metres out now. Away goes Dowling. He's put down 12 metres short of the line. The crowd starting to come alive. Here's Lewis. Running up to the ball is Jones. He's gone without it. New South Wales, I think you'll find a disputing possession. Close has it. And uh, referee Robert said, uh, <laughs> Barry, you can play it. Now Jack. It's 11 metres out. Seconds running down. New South Wales will be content to use up the tackles now, I would think. Simmons. Straight into the defence. Sterling. He won't do anything fancy. It's the quarter line you can see there. Just short of the line. There's the uh, half-time siren as Simmons takes the tackle. And referee Robert says that'll do us for a while. That is half-time. New South Wales here at Lang Park lead Queensland by 12 points to 10. Can New South Wales hang on? The Blues narrowly lead at the break. 
the second half will be a classic state of origin confrontation. Michael O'Connor scored 18 points on this ground in the same corresponding match last year. Ball goes down to Scott. A bad knock in the first half and makes a good run out too as his first touch of the ball for the second half. 12-10 the score. New South Wales just in front. Queensland now in possession. Winding up with Needling. Now in attack, this is the average per six tackles. Queensland 44 metres, New South Wales 52. Remember though, Queensland had the ball five minutes before they scored. So that's a great effort from New South Wales. Farrah, Farrah taking the ball inside the goal, taking in the touch and they go. And they just fling him to the ground. Bobby Linder showing no respect at all, just flung him down. Oh, tough stuff. Good tackle for Queensland now. Watch for the kick. Here it comes, here's Lewis. Straight up for the high one. Gary Jack has it all covered up. He goes, Jack, and there he goes, David. Gene Miles has taken the ball. Heads for the line and they'll score. Great man in. Big Bowie right underneath the post of a mistake from Gary Jack. Oh, what a start in the second half. Jack Gibson. Well, I think the crowd approves. <laughs> the understatement of the year. This man, the king they call it, Lake Park, Bobby Lewis puts it up. Gary Jack, Bobby had it covered. Up he goes, Aussie real style, loses it. Miles takes the ball, he gets wrapped up, puts it on to Dowling, and Dowling bulldozes his way over for four points. Queensland are in front for the first time at 16 points to 12, but they need to tighten up their defence. Simmons getting it away to uh, Roach, to Cleal. Linking up with him is O'Connor, then out to Farrah. Farrah to the corner line, he's got support with Kenny inside him, but unable to get any pass away as that Queensland defence rushes him over the sideline. Well, that was fair enough. They got him over the sideline, but the first penalty just before Queensland scored that he was held up there for several seconds, and they, I felt that New South Wales should have got a penalty at that time. Well, just a big defence, though, and a Queenslander sliding up as Needling. He tried to play it forward rolling around, Roberts is playing on the crowd, don't like that one, ball goes out quickly, Kenny, Kenny winding up, flips the ball back to Morris, Morris gets it on to Pierce, Pierce just, and looks up, the chase is on, and Queensland's able to take Alvin Inger. Oh, good football, and Ronnie really like that one, two and a let off for Queensland, the kick and the chase, Pierce playing well, here it is again, Pierce just drops the ball on the foot, Chases through Meninga, Pierce bustling for it, and Meninga just winning the race for the ball. A close shave for Queensland, but soon after, Roy Simmons outsmarts them. He's now just uh, 30 metres out. Simmons from dummy half, short ball for uh, Tunks. Have a little offload to Sterling, now to Kenny. There's a gap there for Kenny. Kenny through one, and finally put down 10 metres short of the line. Here come the Blues, head back with Sterling. Out to Crusher Cleo. He saw that line and fired straight out of this court. About a metre out. Last tackle signal for New South Wales. Simmons dummy half. Goes himself. He's there. Roy Simmons in for the Blues. Well played, Roy Simmons. He summed it up very, very quickly. It was the last tackle. And he took the odds to it. Saw the little gap, and there was only a little gap there too, and uh, over he went to put New South Wales back level begging. A Connors boot gives New South Wales a two-point margin, and the pressure is right on Queensland. Back for the kick, Mortimer deep. There it goes. Shearer this time at fullback. That's the ball roll. Oh, and made a mistake. Was a bit casual about that one, Jack. Well, it's certainly a crucial mistake, this. They've got uh, 12, 13 metres out with a New South Wales feed. Yeah, I've been very impressed with Tunks' performance tonight. I, I thought uh, he's been dominant out there. That's a big game, and of course, uh, most of us thought he would only play 20 or 30 minutes and go off, but he's there to stay, I think. Well, you're right. He was supposed to come in as damaged goods, but he's proven wrong. Chance now for New South Wales, and it. Oh, Brett Clyde, very smart work from there as he crashes over in the corner. And what a vital try that is. Oh, that was easy. All from a scrum. See it again, Sterling, Sterling, just a little ball up for Pierce down to the scrum. And there's Barrett charged around the blind side and went in for a beauty for New South Wales. Emotions running high as Queensland have one last chance. And Jackson is able to get around Lamb. 
but not Kenny. Kenny tapped in, held by O'Connor. Now Miles, almost to halfway. Time is going to beat Queensland. They'll have to do something miraculous now. Here's Lewis. A cut out pass for French. French saw open faces. Linked up with close. Close over the halfway mark. Held low by Cleal. Five seconds remaining. They've bombed it. Queensland, the Blues are going to win. There is the full-time siren. And New South Wales have defeated Queensland in this first Winfield State of Origin match at Bank Park. 22 points for 16. What a great win for the New South Wales side. New South Wales have wrapped up the first game of the series with the Blues scoring four tries to two as they continue their domination over Queensland. As we head south of the Sydney Cricket Ground to see if last year's champions can do it again on their home ground. 40,000 people have packed the Cricket Ground to see if New South Wales can clinch the series here as they did last year. Even veteran Wally is showing signs of nerves. There are five changes to the Queensland side that played two weeks ago. Here's the side. Gary Belcher is there instead of Colin Scott. Shearer on one wing. Kiss there instead of Close. Meninga and Miles in the centre. Lewis and Murray, the 5'8 and halfback. Ian French is the lock forward, replacing Bobby Lindner. But Lindner got a belated chance when uh, Brian Needley withdrew today. He's in the second row with Gavin Jones. Daryl Broman in the front row with uh, Cavill Hugh, another new player, and Greg Canescu at hooker. The New South Wales side, only the one change from the uh, Victoria Flank Park team. Gary Jack fullback, Hetherington there instead of Steve Morris, who we drew with injury. The other winger is Farrah, O'Connor and Mortimer in the centre. Kenny and Sterling at 5'8 and halfback. Wayne Pierce is the lock and captain. Cleel and Folks in the second row. Tunks and Roach are the two props. And Roy Simmons, our man of the match in Brisbane two weeks ago, is there as hooker. And there he is, the man they call the grasshopper. In fact, they call him many things. If the players have any sense, they'll call him sir. New South Wales need to win this to wrap it up. There's the kickoff. We're underway in the Winfield State of Origin match number two. And New South Wales starting it off. And down it goes to Belcher. His first touch of the football. And he's brought down just short of his own quarter line. Cavill Hugh. Now Linda running from dummy half and making some progress as well. Now they're 10 metres short of the halfway mark, Queensland. Canescu, back for Meninga. The long kick. Gary Jack waiting for it. He has it, but he's only 10 metres out from his own line now. Met and put down in a pretty hefty tackle by the three Queenslanders. Queensland forced the error and put themselves into an attacking position. Gone with the feed. Now Lewis has it. Quickly upended by uh, Brett Kenny, but the offside was, was Kenny. Referee Gonosol ruling that uh, Kenny was up too quickly. Well, Brett nearly beat the ball in. He was up pretty smart. So Queensland on the attack, Darrell. Yes, and this is a different sort of Queensland side that we saw at Lang Park. There's a lot of purpose in their attack now as they take the ball up. And they're... Uh, well, I think their flair in attack is, is much sharper and their defence certainly a lot heavier than we saw at Lang Park. Five minutes in the sin bin here for... Uh, who is it? Canescu. No, Canescu not moving. Roach is gone. Roach for New South Wales has gone for five minutes in the bin. Well, something we didn't expect. Let's have a look on the replay now. There's Roach, and there's a knee comes up. I guess that's what it's for. This is a dummy half. Now with Murray. Oh, he takes the tackle right in the cricket pitch area, but exciting football at the cricket ground, Darrell. Certainly is in Queensland. What a start they've made, Jack, compared to Lang Park. There's a lot more purpose in their running, and their defence has been first class. Well, I think they've, uh, they've certainly won three scrums. The last three scrums, there was four scrums contested, and they've had the feed. They've, had, uh, they've worked that opportunity. Lewis with a little bust, and he gets it on the and he's got the score! Under the post, Queensland made the break, and then made the bust, and it's French under the post for the first try of the match, Queensland! Well, that came out of nothing. Have a look at this. The pass with the Kineski on to Murray. Murray linked up with Lewis. Lewis made the bus. Got through Cleal's tackle. They tried to take him ball and all. Meninga then just had French on the inside of him and Queensland under the sticks. Queensland grab a 6-0 lead. 
and the Blues need to try. And some pretty loose tackling now as Bates makes the block. From uh, Belcher, say what would have been a try. Now New South Wales, can they do it? Sterling across to Simmons under the uh, another handle pass to Pierce. Back for Tunks. Another goes to Simmons. Can he do it again? Roy Simmons is caught just short. So near yet so far. Simmons to play it. Cleo only half now with Sterling across to Kenny. A long floater out there for uh, O'Connor. And it goes to Farrell. New South Wales come back. Well, they were so close on the opposite side of the field and you saw it spin and that pass from Kenny, that one there. Cut out pass, got it to O'Connor, quick hands onto Farrah. Farrah went straight for the corner and in he went to put New South Wales on the board. O'Connor was unsuccessful and New South Wales behind 6-4. But not for long. Sterling again, the little general directing players. He gets it on the Pierce. Pierce with an overhead. Head pass goes on the Cleal. A bustling run, Cleal. Just short of the 22. Centre of the field. So New South Wales have the option to go either side as Sterling puts a photo. Oh, Sterling there saw the numbers out. He gave it to Kenny. Kenny made the bust and got a beautiful ball to O'Connor. And O'Connor goes in for the Blues try number two. An interested observer, Liverpool's Craig Johnston. Watching his mate Peter Sterling in action as the Blues go around very nicely. Pierce got it away to Hedrington. Plenty of runners too as Rose got it. An overhead pass for Mortimer. Looking at players involved in that. New South Wales handling superb, passing great. And Wayne Pierce is in in the corner. It all started back about here. There was a mix-up with the defence. Hetherington made the break. Roach was there to back up. Heard the call, flicked it back inside for Mortimer. Outside him was Pierce. Pierce saw the corner. Nothing was going to stop him. Despite Lindner's tackle, he was able to score. Well, the Blues certainly had a lot of people there. But again, Pierce, he, he started that play. And he stayed alive. And he's rewarded with a fine try. With only seconds till half time, Queensland have their last shot. Kineskew gets it on to Cavill Hugh. Darting run, run from Hugh now, but they're nice and deep, Queensland. Lewis the general. Goes on to Jones. Big, strong, powerful run by Jones. Almost to the New South Wales line now. There's Murray. Murray with a darting run, but the New South Wales defence reads it well. Queensland need to do something pretty quickly. They've got to vary the play. Lewis, Lewis looking for runners. Linda was too close to him. He's got to take the tackle, Lewis. That's bad play from Queensland. Linda proud of him. He couldn't unload it. Gene Miles, he'll go from dummy half, the big man. Put down, though, plenty of blue defence. Running out of tackles. Kineskew. Gets it on now. There's a little chip kick from Broman. Up it goes in the goal mouth. Up they go for it. It could be a chance. Bobby Linder's got it. But held up over the line. And it's a try. Well, we'll wait and see. But yes, it's been a one of the try. Kiss has uh, scored the try. We'll have to see that on the replay. Broman put the kick up. Now it came out from Kineski. It went on to Broman. Here's the man's skill. And that's why he's in the side. The little chip. Now they had it covered. Up they went for it. It was loose. Rolling around. Kiss got it. And he forced it. Fair try to Queensland. And that's the one they wanted. A brave effort by Queensland to claw their way back into it. It's 12 all at half time and still anybody's game. Referee Gomesol checks both sides. 12 all is the score. Second half of this Winfield State of Origin match underway. And New South Wales now in possession as Gary Jack brings it out from his own goal line. And almost gets to the corner line before he's put down by Jones and Miles. But straight away, a penalty to New South Wales. Referee Gomez also saw something in the tackle. Jones is the man who's been spoken to. Let's see if we can pick up what it all was. 
Well, there it is over the top. Jones coming down with a rabbit killer. Across to Lewis. Short pass to uh, Miles. And it goes to Belcher. A long floater out there for Kiss. has been knocked down by Hetherington. Hetherington's lost it. Kiss picks it up and scores. What a try. What a mistake. I don't believe it. I see it, but I don't believe it. Ron Woolley doesn't believe it either. Well, here's how it happened. Now, it was Lewis, made the break. A one-handed pass for Miles onto Belcher. Belcher saw Kiss, but his pass was knocked down by Hetherington, who desperately tried to pick it up, had it, lost it. Kiss said, thank you, and the try is mine. A bad mistake by Hetherington, and Queensland are back in front at 16 points to 12. But the Parramatta connection is about to strike. There's a gap for O'Connor, still going O'Connor. Finally caught, though, only about 11 metres out. Last tackle signal for the uh, New South Wales side. It's back for Sterling. A short pass for Kenny. Kenny's the right Kenny scores for New South Wales. The old Parramatta combination strikes again. Sterling and Kenny, you can't beat them. Here it was, Simmons at Dummy Half. Across to Sterling, everybody waited for the kick with that short, snappy pass to Kenny. And Kenny went straight for the line. French Cree to him. A marvellous try for the New South Wales side. Well, there's nothing new about that combination. The combination was Royce, Sterling and Kenny. The lead changes yet again. New South Wales ahead by two as they raid away. Farrah underneath it well, though. Takes it. Winds up with that familiar style. And makes gets out of two. Farrah out of two. Good run from Farrah, still going, they finally fell him down, that's a great run from Andrew Farrah, showing plenty of determination, and that's what the Blues are about, they want to wrap this series up, and he's an all back, gives that ball to the Jets, they run down, and Crash and Hill will score, and that's about it for the Blues, let me tell you, a great try, oh, Crusher underneath the post, what a beauty, oh, and that came from nothing. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, boys are running from New South Wales. He's bought them up. Now he gets it on the ropes. The big man winds up, and look at the determination on his face. He gets it out to Cleal, and no one's going to stop Cleal from there, let me tell you. Under the post, four points, New South Wales. And up it goes, the jubilation of it all. Sterling, face of the scrum. Murray, Murray. It's got Belcher. Belcher with a bit of room to move. He's got a chance here. Here's Shearer. Shearer. Shearer in the open space as they run. Getting creeps over. will go in. Dale Shearer goes in and runs it round for a better angle. And that's a try to Queensland. Paul, it's all happening in the Sydney cricket ground tonight. Well, Belcher set it up. There was a pass from Murray, but look at Belcher coming through on the boil. He got through tackle after tackle. Now, this run by Shearer. He got through a tackle by Jack, stumbling for the determination of the line. He had to get there for Queensland and did so. Mortimer there with a late last-ditch tackle. No go. Big try from Queensland. A great try, but it's going to be too late. Oh, what a game of football. Played at a fierce pace. And there's the countdown with the crowd. We'll feed the scrum. In it goes. Queensland leap on it. <laughs> Listen to the crowd as they count it down. Lewis puts it up. Queensland chasing through. Kenny has taken a go. It's all. Oh, no, it's all over yet. Now it's all over. Barry Gomez will sell that to the look of the crowd. Full time score. Queensland 20 have been defeated by New South Wales. 24 as the Blues wrap up the series. Emotion running high here. A fantastic finish by Queensland, but all too late, as New South Wales wrap up the series for the second year running. And what an emotional moment for Captain Wayne Pearce and his boys as they salute the huge Blues crowd. New South Wales have won the series, but Queensland are playing for pride, remembering that no team has ever lost the series 3-0, and they don't want to be the first. The Maroons have brought Brian Niebling and Brad Tessman in to stiffen up the forwards. And for New South Wales, guru Eric Grove takes his place on the wing, with Brian Johnston on the other flank. The referee is Kevin Roberts. And the ball to the air for the final match of the Winfield Series, State of Origin for 1986. 
And what a series this is going to be. A lot for Queensland to play for. And certainly a lot for New South Wales too. They could clean sweep the series the first time ever. And Meebling will play it for Queensland now. Canescu dummy half. Comes out almost to Testman, but it goes on to Jones. Jones just takes play outside the 22. Back for the kick, Mal Meninga drives the ball downfield. Gary Jack, well positioned, but it might be. Jack, it does too. So first blood to Queensland. They find the line with a good kick from Mal Meninga. Queensland on the attack now with a chance. And it comes to Lewis, a long, huge pass out. And they've got the numbers outside. Shearer, Shearer heading for the line. And Port Gannett, and he's in. Shearer's brought in. And that's a great try for Queensland. Started off a pass from Molly Lewis. That was a giant one. Oh, what a start for Queensland. Watch this pass from Wally Lewis. One, two, three, four players it cuts out. Goes to Miles. Miles gets it on to Meninga. Meninga out to Shearer. Shearer puts on the pace. There was Kenny to get him. But no, he's through a growth tackle to and over. Well, growth missed him and Shearer scores first by Jack Gibson. Good try. Excellent try too. They've done more than a try damage. They've got Jack down on the ground and he doesn't look too healthy. Now play 32 metres out from the New South Wales line. With Lewis, the run around with Kinescu and Jones straightening the attack, running onto the ball strongly. Just outside the quarter. Cross with Lewis. Floater again for Miles. And in on the Belcher. Belcher with it clear. He's got the ball. Belcher for the line. And Belcher's Is he there? Yes, he is. Referee got it to work the side. A very strong start from Queensland. Watch it with us. There was that pass again from Lewis. And Belcher into the gap, running strongly for the corner. Growth tried to take him. Jack came across in cover. But again, the momentum was there. And although referee Roberts took a little while, he awarded the try. Jack Gibson. We certainly awarded the try here. But again, everything happens off Lewis. What New South Wales at about half their defensive side on the other side of the football. Paddy Gid Lewis lined up, ready to attack. With two tries on the board already, Queensland go for the hat trick. Line side goes Lewis. Linking up with him was uh, Miles. The pass has been knocked down in six seconds to go. He's going to score. Three tries to Queensland. Score it lucky if you like, but the points are on the board. That sign says it all. Greg Canescu, they call him the turtle. Here's how it happened. It was Lewis running blindside. The pass went to Miles. That pass was knocked down by one of the New South Wales players. Picked up by Shearer, given straight away to Canescu. And the Queensland hooker in to score. That's a fair try. Again, Queensland missed the kick. It's 12 mil, and New South Wales are in trouble. As Lewis decides to run it again, it goes to Murray. This time, a little chip for Murray. He regathers the ball. Jones slips the good ball out. From Bobby Linda, they can't take it. Gary Jack's on the ball. So New South Wales turn the bench into attack. They get it out there to Kenny. Gets on the right corner. And Dan is streaking down. He'll get there. And Donald and the bench is coming in front. But New South Wales have scored their first try. And that's a length of the field. And that's a ripper. Oh, a gunner in of a great Brett Kenny pass. Well, one minute they were defending and then they were on the attack and this is how it started. There's the, there's the uh, little chip from Murray now. He took it well. The tackle from Sterling went to Linnery, couldn't handle it. Gary Jack came onto the ball now. now Gary Jack slipped a long flatter out for Brett Kenny. He got it onto O'Connor. O'Connor put it into top gear and got the afterburner going and went the length of the field to score a try with plenty of defence chasing him. But he burnt the turf. O'Connor doesn't miss. The Blues trail 12 points to six until Brett Kenny turns it on. Picked up by Jack. Now it's across with folks for New South Wales. On to Pierce, to Kenny. Kenny saw the gap. How did he get through that gap? Kenny, Kenny in the clear. Looks for support. Pierce is there. What a great try. What a great try from New South Wales. And Brett Kenny, how did he get through that gap? I can't believe how Brett Kenny was able to slip through that gap. 
Watch it again with us. Folks, gave the pass to Pierce. And watch Kenny. Look, how can he get through that? He's not entitled to. What a great player he is. And a good pass from Kenny, from Pierce to, to Pierce. And there's the try. What a fine try, Jackie. Well, I've got to agree with you. He had a little to do with that, the boy Kenny. But Pierce was good there, too, and so was folks. He got a good shot out of it. He stays alive, Pierce. And anticipate Kenny going to do something. He's looking for help and goes straight into Pierce's hand. Now, what can Queensland do? It's across to Meninga. And a long pass to Meninga. who's been very much involved in this game in the score yet another try we've had a feast of them so far here it is it went from Murray to Lewis to Meninga and this is the pass that did it nice pass to, to Les Kiss in the score for Queensland a proud moment for young Les Kiss and Queensland pull away again it's 16-12 Roach now, flicks one out for Lamb, there's the long floating ball, out for, for Mortimer, he gets it on to Kenny, Kenny evades one, on to Pierce, Pierce going for the line and he's only half a metre out. New South Wales throwing everything with just one tackle to go now. It goes to Tux, Tux bearing his way, he's put it down, the late team to try. Big Tux has thrown it over and slammed it down for New South Wales. Oh, power play from Tux. And Kenny was in that one too. Here's the play, the ball. Tunx just drives off those huge legs right through the Queensland defence and bang, down it goes. And a try for New South Wales. So again, the scores are locked thanks to Peter Tunx. 16 all at the break in a typically exciting match where Queensland now just have 40 minutes to save face and the Blues have 40 minutes to make state of origin history. And they're making pretty good ground, Queensland. Away they charge again with their big men. But this New South Wales defence is there to meet them. Back it comes, they go to the blind side. Murray, Murray turns a nice ball back inside for French and French puts it down. All about 10 metres out, so Queensland with a chance now. Let's see the runners. Cavill Hugh, Cavill Hugh winds up, he's gone! Cavill Hugh, he's given it! He's given it! No, he hasn't. He hasn't awarded. He's got a plate. He's only half a metre short. Signals going everywhere from Queensland. Ball loose. Big toe through from New South Wales. Les Kiss is chasing it. He falls on it, but it rolls into touch. Well, a let off for New South Wales. It's still 16 all, and a penalty now could be crucial. Lamb run around with Sterling. The pass is there for Kenny. Running off Kenny, though, as Wayne Pierce. Inside goes Gary Jack. A high tackle for Miles. Jack put down. Referee. Just issues a caution. Jack has hit the deck. Kenny has it. They're in the field goal there. In, posi in position for the field goal. If they can get it back, but uh, offside that guy. Offside, and referee Roberts had no hesitation in ruling that. He just can't stand alongside the man playing the ball. And that's exactly what Kaneski did. Look, at no stage was he onside. Here is that uh, earlier tackle on Jack. The, the pass was there from Pierce and ooh, around the, the ears again from uh, Gene Miles. Now, Wally Lewis is down, and I'm not surprised. This game has been fast and furious for a kicker of O'Connor's ability. It's uh, a uh, relatively easy kick. It's certainly a pressure kick, though. A Queensland have missed five kicks at goal. This is possibly ten points. That could be very costly. But the pressure is on O'Connor now with this kick. Here's O'Connor. And he's made no mistake. New South Wales hit the front. 18 points to 16. Time's running out, and Wayne Bennett knows it. Ten metres out from the Queensland line. It's with Belcher. We have to do something exciting here, and Meninga looks like he might be able to do it. Meninga to the halfway mark. A little kick through for Meninga. It's a chase. How well a chase this will be. But it's going to fade. Oh, my God, I can't get to it. But finally dives on it. Not back at the referee. No knock on, he said. Play on. The crowd didn't like it. So, uh, Lewis lashing out in the play of the ball, and uh, six tackle count uh, restarted for New South Wales. 
They'll just use up the time now. There's only a minute 15 remaining. 18-16, New South Wales leading. Gillespie playing it. Simmons will just run from dummy half. Queensland must get the football if they are to do anything at all. And Pierce is intent on them not having it. There's the time clock ticking down, as you saw. It's back for Roach. Last tackle signal. And it's uh, back now for Lamb. His kick is straight down the throat of Belcher. Now, Belcher is going to have to be a miracle man to do anything here. The kick, the chip ahead for Shearer. But uh, Sterling is there to regather and almost uh, lost it. Finally fell on it. And there's a bit of a scuffle in there as Shearer was determined to try and get the ball. He gets a little excited that year. Time. The seconds counting down. Scrum forming inside New South Wales territory. Seven seconds. And that's just about it. Here comes the siren. There it is. Queensland have got to do something absolutely miraculous. Lewis puts the kick in the air. Jack can't take it for you. Kenny's back there for it. Kenny has it. Kenny put it down over. of the State of Origin series. Tonight they've won 18 points to 16. And that was one heck of a game of football tonight, Jack. Well, Roberts, too, he showed plenty of character. He had a real tough one there. He sure did. Jumpers being exchanged. Plenty of controversy over that decision, but amazingly, just one penalty goal separated these two great sides. As the Mighty Blues score the first ever whitewash in State of Origin football. I don't know how they do it, but the games just seem to get better every year. And while New South Wales have wrapped up the series three block, the margins were only six, four, and two points in three matches. So traditionally, it's Lang Park for the first match of the series, and what an atmosphere. Every seat filled by a fanatical Queensland supporter. In the Queensland team, young centre Peter Jackson comes in for the injured Mal Meninga. And tiny halfback Alan Langer makes his debut. New South Wales have made a couple of changes with the pacey Cronulla duo of Mark McGraw and Andrew Eddinghausen in for the backs. And kangaroo tour sensation Les Davidson comes in as a prop. Mick Stone from New South Wales is the referee. And it's underway. The Winfield State of Origin kicks off. Sterling takes the ball back for New South Wales and beat the fit straight away. Awesome beat the fit from Queensland on Sterling. And up they come, this is Jarvis, swamping him down now. Plenty of a defence coming out of Queensland. And a fumble from New South Wales, a mistake, but Gary Jack cleans it up. And they clean him up right on the 22. Queensland have made their intentions known. New South Wales counter in the best way possible. Plenty of pressure both ways, Ian Maurice, and an even contest so far. Great stuff, isn't it, Darrell? Great stuff. Good start to this match. It's Queensland trying to get out of the danger area. And they've done so. They're about 33 metres out from their own line now. Last tackle signal for the Maroons. Langer, pass back to Wharton. Gary Jack waiting for it. Electing to allow it to bounce. Finally, it's Eddinghausen who uh, takes it. He's 32 metres out from his own line before he's upended. Dowling sets the scene for a concerted raid by the Maroons. This is Dowling now. He goes hard and straight and all. <laughs> Look at Davidson coming in. There's some swinging arms and the two fellas have a bit of a talk too. Teammates on a kangaroo tour. Might have been mates there, but they're interstate rivals right now. Queensland really charging at this attack and Fatty Vaughton, the manly player, will play it back to Canescu. On to Lewis. Lewis puts the accelerator down. French tries to back him up, but there's just too much defence in the shape of Prussia Cleal. 
also Jarvis underneath as Langer unloads it now. He gets it out to Vaughton. There's a long pass out for Shearer. Shearer now puts the accelerator down too, and he puts the pace on. There's a dive for the ball. It's loose. And Shearer will come up with it. All right, Queensland's still on the wrap here now. The boys says six to go. Langer. Langer getting it out to Dowling. He gets it over to Lewis. There's the pop ball up to Belcher. Belcher. He gets it out to Jackson. But Jackson backed up with his step right. It's tough now from New South Wales. They're only 10 metres out. Queensland with a big chance here. And that's Bella charging at the line. But the defence beats him too. Canescu. Listen to the crowd start the chant. Lewis. There's a little chip. Jackson. Jackson. Will he get there? No. New South Wales as Jackson poured through, Eddinghausen cleaned it up. State of origin brings out intense rivalry, even amongst the best of friends. Lewis, there's that little chip stab kick again. Take it, taken by O'Connor. O'Connor winds up, but he's taken down. That's a good defense by Lewis, and there's a lot of punch and Oh, Lewis didn't like that. O'Connor reacted to the tackle. There's a wrestling match going on, but that's nothing in that. That indiscretion allows Queensland to enjoy an early lead. Let's watch it. And it's successful. Queensland draw first blood. Bone-jarring defence by Queensland showed the determination to consolidate the lead. Here's Jarvis. And a one-handed pass from him to Simmons. Across field. And look at this tackle. And Queensland come up with it. This is able to pick up the pegs. Oh, this is big defence from Queensland. Here's Lewis. Inside pass for Gilmister. He's have a life loaded. Still keeping the ball alive, Queensland. Wayne Bennett will be happy with his side at the moment. They lead two points to nil. Here's Langer. Trying to step through the defence. No way you can do that. Just outside the New South Wales quarter. As Dowling takes the pass from Canescu. Now inside the quarter. The danger zone now for New South Wales. As Canescu is a dummy half. Across to Langer, to Lewis, to Jackson. Looking inside. Oh, got an opportunity for Queensland. Well, I think Belcher handled it all right. I think Shearer just a little delayed action there to be up with him, and he wasn't. He missed the opportunity. Queensland applying the pressure, but it's not Tony Curry's night. Canescu, Lewis, switch a play to French. French, French, he had support too but just couldn't get it away. They're turning it back inside. His miles again, the danger man. Oh, there's a chance to make it unload it. Yes, they do. Oh, they're throwing it around here with Leia. Leia, Leia, the line. Leia, will he get there? That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's Tony Curry's in. No try, no try. Well, Tony Curry, the controversial player tonight, has put two down and doesn't score there. The defence got to him. Look at Langer. Langer almost did it himself there as he charged for the line. The defence came across. There was the ball, but no try. Oh, touch and go, though. They called it forward. Now Bella. Bella bumping run from the big fellow. And they have play to Kineski. Kineski's pass is back by Jackson. Jackson put it down. And Pierce picks it up and he's in turn. Now, New South Wales under a ton of pressure from Queensland now. Brian Johnson has it 32 metres out from the, from the uh, New South Wales line. Very strong Queensland defence. In his pass line side, finds Cleo out of one. The pass is out there for O'Connor. O'Connor's kick. It's a race to the ball. Over O'Connor. O'Connor's there. O'Connor scores. Michael O'Connor scores. New South Wales supporters in the crowd go crazy. Watch it again. The initial pass from Quill. Nicely taken from O'Connor. Saw the defence. The kick in field. A chase between O'Connor and Langer. O'Connor much too much pace for little Langer. And down he goes. Picks it up beautifully and scores a great New South Wales try. Here is the kick from O'Connor and it's hit beautifully. Struck it lovely right between the post. New South Wales ahead 6-2, and Gary Jack wants to increase that lead. Nick Stone gives Sterling the pat. Ball New South Wales crowd not agree, but they've got the ball. Gary Jack! Gary Jack is first out of the open! A big chance now for New South Wales! It's Gary Jack! Oh, the great run takes place! Deep in 
inside the 22 and the Blues on the attack now. The ball spinning around is Kenny. Kenny now with everything he's got. But all oh, did well there to stay in the field of play as it comes out now. Let's see what the Blues can do. Johnson goes for a charge at the line. Belt it down though and they're only about 10 metres out, 8 metres out. Out it comes now to Sterling. Sterling looking for the leak up and there's Crusher Cleo bashing and barging his way forward. New South Wales on a roll at the moment. Simmons gets it out to Sterling. Sterling going across, looking for the link up. Tried to get McGore and couldn't. And the ball rolls into touch. Oh, and the crowd react to that. <laughs> now look at Sterling too. He ran across trying to link up with McGore then. Eddinghausen uh, not too happy about that. Let's see it again. Here is the pass. Well, rolls into touch. Eddinghausen trying to get it. This scrum back down. New South Wales to the feet again. Sterling, Sterling, breaks with Pierce, Pierce, they get it out to uh, Eddinghausen now, he'll play it back, there's Crusher Cleal has come in for a bit of work, but this defence is reading it pretty well at the moment, but New South Wales very deep, here's, they come out there with Stephen Folks, Folks only about five metres out, here's the charge from Davidson and he's there, Davidson with a huge tap, he couldn't get it down, they rolled him over and he couldn't get it down, and look at Buddy Willie, we'll wait and see, it is a try. Yes, sir. Well, they got it down. Why don't we see the replay on that one? Because he went in, they rolled him over, but Davidson with a big charge. See it again here now. Nights wide well of sports as they go, and there it is. Bang, the ball went down, and that's when they rolled him back. Well, Davidson makes the try, but if they stopped, the, if they, even if he hadn't have scored, I still thought he'd been the best player on the paddock after this play. Connor moves in, there it goes, waved away this time though, not a good attempt from Michael O'Connor. And here's Sheeran now, Sheeran backs up the line, he's gone with a little chip and kick and a follow, the chase is on, but it looks like Eddie Hamilton will win the race, yes he does, the ball is loose, yes, oh, no go. Well, this game has been played at 100 mile an hour as Ron Willie relaxes again. Holy moly, everything happening at the moment. Watch it again, Ashira makes the bust, comes down there, there was McGaw coming inside to try and cut him off. Shearer put the toe to the ball, now the chase was on. Heddinghausen showing plenty of pace as he came through. Oh, and just touched the ball, then it rolled loose, and Shearer claimed the try. A costly miss for Queensland, and time is running out in the first half. They need to score soon. Now, this is a golden opportunity now for Queensland, with the half-time in sight. They're inside the corner. What can they do? Here's Bella taking it up hard. Caught by folks. And Davidson. Only 10 metres out now, Queensland. Gilmas to turn to back to Canescu. French standing in the tackle. Finally put down. Nine metres out. Across to Lewis. Long pass to Jackson. Jackson trying to turn it back inside. Can't do so. New South Wales defence too good. That's Miles showing it, the straightening, and standing, and offloading to Canescu, and up it goes to French. Last tackle signal now for Queensland. Lewis goes back for the bomb, elects to run it, and gives it across to Gary, and Gary, and it's a try, and it's a try. Well, the referee took an eternity to make up his mind, but Dowling, the try scorer, Watch this one with us because it was Lewis standing on the blind side. New South Wales waiting for the kick. Elected to run and the short little pass to Dowling. Went through two defenders and finally grounded the ball, sort of grounded the ball. And Queensland are in for their first try. It's a good play. Lewis there, he just held it up. He got the job done, Dowling. You don't have to hold it there for 20 minutes. So it's New South Wales in front, 10-6 at half time, with Queensland hanging in there thanks to that try by Dowling. But the Blues are looking the better side. Sterling. For Kenny, for Kenny. A little dummy from Kenny. Still going, Kenny. Trying to link up. Turns the ball back inside. A good pass back inside for Pierce. Pierce handballs it away. Gives it to Crash and Cleo. Cleo belting his way forward, but they beat him again. Oh, and a close up, and have come up with the ball too. Jackson has the ball for Queensland. Now they fumble it. Cleo again. Charges at the line. 
That quail appealing there. All sorts of appeals going on. But no, referee McStone says didn't, they held him up for the ball. Well, that was a near miss, but New South Wales won't be denied. Kenny trying to uh, unwind. He gets out of one spinning. He's a clever player, Kenny. Always on the move. He's got a wonderful brain. Thinking all the time. Comes out to Pierce. Pierce goes straight and forward. Gary Jack up now. The dummy half at Simmons says, no, give it to me. Goes to Sterling. Sterling on to McGaw. McGaw taking a lovely tackle from Langer. Jackson there to help too. Wheel, Wheel will go from dummy half. Only makes a metre though and gets belted back. So both sides sort of going nowhere. There's Bennett. Mr. Emotion, as I call it. He shows no emotion. And here they are with a chance now. New South Wales starting to stretch out. And Kenny gets the lovely ball. Scored a sensational try in the first half and has just gone in again. See it again as the ball comes roaring across the line here now. And mark this down to Kenny. Kenny, look at him across. Now he sees a little gap. How does he get the ball away? And O'Connor with a juggle slams it down for try number two. Without doubt, this is Kenny's try. He held it up and held it up. He got all that, those three or four defensive players all decide to go for him. And when they come in, that's when he released it. Well, New, New South Wales getting the break. There he is, the man. The man they call Mr. Football, Brett Kenny. Enjoy the kick of Michael O'Connor. Look at that ABUT right between the posts. And that took the score 16-6. The natives are getting restless here as Queensland are trailing now 16-6. Beer cans being thrown onto the field, and this is absolutely stupid. But this is what happens here. They start losing, they start throwing. Let's hope they can keep them away from the players. As Sterling now puts the kick through. Gary Belcher back in position again. He takes it. Gary Smith is now on for Queensland in number 15. We'll pick him up in a moment. Queensland 16-12 with a conversion by Belcher and Queensland are back in it with 10 minutes to go. But the game is not over yet. Tonescu from dummy half, turning it back inside for Langer. Queensland just outside the New South Wales quarter. Wharton, Miles. One hand pass to Gilmister, back to Wharton. Back to Bella. And they lost about uh, 10 metres in that play. The penalty's gone to Queensland. Just to see what happened there. Well, they certainly got a, the last couple of penalties have been sweetheart penalties. And then in the heat of the battle. Well, Boyle's take, taking the ball off him. And Ken White's doing it. Here comes Queensland now. Lewis gets a pass up. Belcher, who's taken over the goal kicking duties from Jackson, hits it. It's wide. Wow. Now it's down for uh, Belcher. Oh, and Bunjara. 
good tackle. Who was it? Wayne Pierce, of course. Miles. Lost the ball, Miles. The Blues have it. Here's Kenny. Kenny over the corner. Now, what can the Blues do with Sterling? With Folks. Folks just inside the Queensland quarter. Boyle. Field, field goal time. There's the clock. There's the field goal attempt from Sterling. Missed. He's missed it. 16 apiece with less than two minutes to go and New South Wales with their last chance. Just inside Queensland territory. Cleal from dummy half. Made about five or six metres. There's the top clock ticking down. 128. Davidson. Got to work themselves into a, a drop kick situation here. Well, they've been sitting outside the Queenslanders, but there's no way. I don't think he's given a chance to kick a goal at this stage. Eddinghausen. Eddinghausen getting it over the goal. Inside pass for Eddinghausen. He's gone astray. Over the Queensland line. And over the dead ball line. They're looking at a little bit. He's going to run the door. the smoke you can see the Queensland players disgusted the try awarded to uh, Mark McGaw but I'll be vitally interested in looking at this here it is again that's Eddinghausen a pass that may have been forward McGaw turning the ball back inside knocked down by Queensland kicked ahead I think now watch the ball all here Well, that was McGaw getting his hand to it, I think. This will be a controversial decision and a brave decision by referee Stone. Boy, oh boy, what a finish. They'll be talking about this one for a long, long time. And while the Maroons fans might not agree, the points are on the board. And once again, Queensland are behind the eight ball as we head to a very wet and muddy Sydney cricket ground to see if New South Wales can make it a hat-trick of series win. Let's have a look at the New South Wales side. It's the same team that bowled them over in the first match, except for David Boyle's inclusion in the forwards and Andrew Farr into the back line. Queensland have made two critical changes, with Colin Scott on the wing for his goal kicking and Bobby Lindner back in the pack. Now, Mr. Gonosol blows time on. We're underway in the Winfield State of Origin match number two for 1987. Down for Gene Miles. Look at that water. Very slippery conditions. As Miles is caught, Canescu at dummy half. Belcher kicks. Turning New South Wales back. Gary Jack. And the referee has signaled a penalty to New South Wales. South Wales officials will be happy. The penalty was for uh, getting in front of the kicker. They anticipated the kick. He called the play. And he makes no mistake. That's a beautiful kick from O'Connor. New South Wales put early points on the board. That'll be a great kick. He never does the side. New South Wales takes an early lead thanks to the boot of Michael O'Connor as they continue to apply pressure. Not a big angle to work with, but he's able to find touch. Just inside the uh, Queensland half. New South Wales on the attack, Darrell. Well, uh, Peter Sterling now unloads the ball, and New South Wales bunched up. They're unloading it pretty quickly. There's Brian Johnson takes the ball and makes a half break there, too. Well, Jack Gibson, an amazing start to this game, and a very revved up crowd here at the Sydney Cricket Ground as we see New South Wales pour it on. Well, that too for the uh, goal is going to play an important part, and there's going to be many tries scored tonight. Kenny, Kenny unloading now, and he gets it out to Pierce. Pierce. No, that's not Pierce, it's McGaw. McGaw wrapped up and pumped down too in the middle of the mud section there, just inside the 22. New South Wales inside the Queensland danger zone as they pour the ball down now. And there's a scramble in the mud and the splash and all the water. And New South Wales applying plenty of pressure. And pressure they did, forcing Queensland into costly mistakes. And Belshable played, he's hurt too in the tackle. 
Belcher plays it right on his own line as Shearer makes a break across the field. But he's easy pickings running side on. But there's goal. Said running sideways, he lost the ball. Quick unload from Kenny. Kenny got it to Johnson. Johnson gets to Farrow. That's four points for the Blues. O'Connor with a very difficult attempt here now. Right on the 22, about two metres in, maybe a metre and a half in. So at a very, very acute angle. The ball not too heavy yet. It certainly got the height. Let's have a look. Waved away. So the score remains. New South Wales leading Queensland 6-0. New South Wales in their own half for the first time. This is where Queensland want to play the game. Harry Jack perfectly positioned to take the kick up to the halfway mark. Dummy to O'Connor, continued on his own. A good run from Gary Jack. Now O'Connor from Dummy Half. Down the blind side, beats two. That's in the corner line, O'Connor. Look for support. The pass is inside for Johnson. And Johnson is caught. New South Wales throwing the ball about well. Ten metres short of the Queensland line. The Blues lead 6-0. It's to Sterling. Across for Kenny. Across for McGaw. McGaw caught. Now Simmons still running to the right-hand side. Working a run-around move. The pass has gone astray. Picked up by Langer for Queensland. Jackson. Clone. Give me a snorkel. Plenty of tough defence by both sides and tempers begin to flare. Gary Jack in sensational form since the Kangaroo Tour. His boiler game going up. Oh, what a big hard tackle too from Gilmister, the Eastern Suburbs boy. Plenty of defence coming in from Queensland. Both sides throwing everything at it. Gilmister again. Almost worked their way out of the 22, but they've decided to put the boot to it. Andrew Farrow. Farrow drives it down. Belcher, though, will take it. Just outside his 22, he returns it. So we don't see a lot of kicking like this in uh, Sydney football, but takes it off the chest, Gary Jack, and runs it to He's an exciting player, Gary Jack. My geez, he'll try anything. Roy Simmons, preach a couple. Liam Maurice, we've seen it all. We've seen good handling in the conditions and a lot of kicking in this game so far. Yeah, plenty of ball being turned over in, uh, in tackles. I guess you've got to expect that in conditions like this. Now, here's New South Wales leading by six points to nil and play situated 10 metres short of the halfway mark in New South Wales territory. It's Farrah tries to wrestle his way towards the halfway mark. That's across to Davidson. In fact, he flicks the ball back. Picked up by Jarvis. He's gone without it. Luckily, Wayne Pierce was there for New South Wales tonight. And here's Simmons scampering along the blind side difference of opinion back in, uh, in midfield the play continues scramble for possession again that swimming pool in the center is causing all sorts of problems for both teams but it's new south wales who are handling the conditions the best now it's with pierce a goal a goal step beautifully linking up across the back line to o'connor O'Connor's got support, he's over the halfway mark, back in for O'Connor! O'Connor still stepping, and still going, and still running strongly, where's the support? There it is, it's dropped to the ground, and a brilliant run from Michael O'Connor. Folks couldn't handle it, Folks is injured, but Queensland come up with it. Well, the action coming thick and fast. Pressure mounting again for New South Wales as it comes across. There was an awful mix-up there as... Dowling tried to kick it. I don't know if it goes to come off his boot, but now New South Wales have it. Now they've lost it. Queensland's lost it. Stacks on the mill. Six tackles to go, says the referee. Queensland come up with it. I thought there was a Queensland knock on him there. Referee doesn't agree. He's the man with the counts. Charge at the line. Damn goal. And he's all the time. Interesting to have a look at. Here it is. Watch Shearer. Head down. 
The ball's not down yet. It's down now, though. I think that's a good decision, Jack. Yeah, it was a half a yard slide. He got the thing down, all right. Well, the New South Wales players disputing the fact that he got it down, but I don't think as much doubt he did. This kick could tie the score. And it... Oh, it hit the crossbar. Wow. That's how heavy the ball was. So it remains six points to four in favour of New South Wales. And Eskew will play it back to Langer. Langer fires one out for Dowling. He turns it back inside, but oh, there's too much defence for Bobby Linder. Can Eskew, can Eskew looking for the runners. Oh, there's an intercept! So half time and New South Wales in front again, thanks to that try by Farrah. And any lead in these conditions is a good lead. A goal kick the difference. New South Wales leads 6-4. Referee Gomesol blows time on. Second half is underway. And Andrew Farrah brings it up to the quarter line, just over the quarter line, in fact. Now it's with Jarvis. Scored by Kinescu. Simmons pass back for Farah. Waiting for it is Belcher. Taps it with his feet and returning the kick. This is how the first half finished. Jack returns the honours. See everybody is offside and uh, can't move in on the player with the ball. We now wait for somebody to make an error or for either player to uh, start running it. I think it's juice. The Maroons don't hang on to it for long, however, and again it's O'Connor causing all the trouble. O'Connor, O'Connor, every time he touches, there's a bit of magic with O'Connor as he unloads. Oh, and what about that? Oh, boy, oh, boy, he just got charged back. The ball just went bang. And uh, Johnson did not know what hit him then. No, that was Lewis who took him out. Oh, gee, that was a big tackle. Out they go to Les Davidson. He tries to straighten up, flicks the ball out to Boyle. He gets it on to, to Sterling. Sterling sliding, grabbing anything. Gets unloads the ball out beautifully to Gary Jack. Gary Jack winds it up, and they wrestle him down. Belcher, his opposite number, takes him. The little chip from O'Connor. Charged down, picked up by Davidson. Davidson now has got players out wide. It's a hard take to Johnson. Put it down. Well, they're prepared to throw it around and look at the look on, on Willie's face. <laughs> Nothing in this. Six points to four. 21 minutes of the game remaining. A do or die effort from Queensland. And a big hit there from uh, from Davidson. <laughs> he hit Dowling with everyone like a back track. Queensland again elect to clear it. Gary Jack has got to chase it back right in a mud heap. He picks it up. Runs across field, centre field, out of one, out of two, Gary Jack, he makes a run back to the field, makes a point, Gary Jack, Gary Edmonds, oh, it's offside by a mile, well, he just stood there and waited for the support to come, it wasn't there, what a great run under these conditions. Yeah, it all went down the drain, he put that ball a yard forward, a metre forward. That looks summed it up as New South Wales start making all the blues. Six points to four, the blues lead. Can Queensland come back? They've got time. They need to settle their play a little as Jackson. Jackson lifted up. He gets it out to Miles. Miles unwinds the big man. That's the 22 line you can see now. Now they're deep. Now they look like they can run it. Jackson unloads the ball. Back to Miles. A little short pass. Oh, the Langer just holding on as he skidded. And now they've got a chance, Queensland. Miles, Miles, Miles gets it out to Dowling. Dowling. Well, it's a sort of football that's been tonight. State of origin football. They took their chances on the mud heap and they got it. See it again. That was Gene Miles. A power work. Let's see it here. There's Miles. Miles unloads it to Dowling. Dowling held it up and bang! Down he goes, the big man. Oh, and that's the one they needed. It was a beauty. Well, you wouldn't call it a stroll. He picked up some yards there. Good pass from Miles. 
He's used to this, Scott. Seasoned campaigner. And he comes. Well, it's a horror. Oh, it's a bad one. And the score remains. Queensland 8, leading New South Wales 6. Agora is going off, and Des Hasler is on for New South Wales. Des Hasler on. Mark McGaw off for New South Wales. And Queensland with the ball, very close to the line now. Dowling makes a charge. Dowling almost down a one. They come back and get him though. Can Eskew dummy half? He'll run from there. Oh, and ball so close to Queensland. Playing it back. There's Hazlitt, a new play. You can see him now. A little fumble. Langer. Langer. Back to Gilmy Star. Gets it on to Lewis. Lewis on the miles. A little hand. Oh, look at New South Wales. They can't believe it. They can't believe it. Kenny, look at the look on Kenny's face. Gary Jack, pierced down on his haunches. See it again now. It came out to Lewis. Lewis gets it on to Miles. He basketball, handballs it over, and Colin Scott in the corner. Well, Miles was in a good position here. He had some momentum when he received the football. It was a little blindside shot. He got it in there. It was good as goal. Wally Lewis, the man they love to hate. The man they call the king of Queensland Rugby League. Study of concentration now, Jack. Well, the longer he takes, he's going to eat the clock up too. That helps. And there it is. It's not a bad-looking attempt, but it's unsuccessful. So the score remains. Queensland leading New South Wales 12 points to 6. Well, New South Wales now have got 3 minutes and 43 seconds to get it up the other end of the field and tie this match up with a converted try. Can they do it? Well, they're not going to run it up. They've still got to kick it up there, irrespective of what's on the clock. Sterling. Quick hands now. Kenny. Kenny with half a break. Barra. Barra, three minutes 22. Sterling, Sterling looking to link up. Oh, too much defences. Queensland defences come alive now. They can smell a victory, Queensland. Sterling, long pass out for O'Connor. O'Connor puts the ball back inside, but no one can take it. Yes, that man can. Peter Sterling, he's everywhere tonight. But he just fired with him out there. There's a chance now. It's a blue start. They want it. They flick it back inside. Here's Kenny. But Kenny bottled up. And good play from New South Wales as they start to try and open it up. Running out of time. 2.47 on the clock now. Sterling puts the ball in the air. Plenty of chases coming through. Belcher back to take it and he forces it too. Time's running out for the Blues with less than two minutes to go. What can they do? Back it goes for the kick. Lewis drives the ball down. Andrew Farrar. Gary Jack and look at Lewis. Oh, would he be a happy and proud man tonight? Well, they got 60 seconds. 60 to go seconds, six. Jack, and they got the ball. So, Kenny, Kenny, can we see some magic? Yes, we can from Johnson as he puts the accelerator down, but no traction. He can't get the power to the ground. 49 seconds, 48 and ticks away. I think each kick represents a meter. They're not going to get there. Pierce, Pierce, little quick pass inside to Boyle. Boyle wrestled down. 36 seconds left on the clock now. New South Wales in possession. Simmons unloads. They're Sterling. Flicks one back for Landmack. Now it goes to Hasler. Hasler really quick. Accelerates there. He tries to unload it. That's so to the boil. They're keeping alive. New South Wales. A long floating pass out for Kenny. Kenny now. What's for O'Connor? O'Connor takes it. Oh, they wrestle him down, but he just... Well, he's in the touch. He tried to do everything he could to stay in touch, and he couldn't. And the final countdown's on. Eight, seven... Six. New South Wales are out of time. We'll have the decider in late fight. And I'll tell you what, that will be a beauty. Don't miss it. And look at Queensland. Rejoice as they come back to the winner's circle. Wally Lewis, Gary Belcher, O'Connor who played so well, Jarvis with a model over his face. Amazing game of rugby league under the conditions. Fantastic football. Look at the size of Langer. He's only four feet tall, but let me tell you, He's 10 feet tall tonight as Kenny goes off. Lewis and Kenny, great rivals. A gutsy performance by Queensland to cling on to that narrow six-point lead. 
running out deserved winners with three tries to one in atrocious conditions. The Lang Park Emperor exterminates the New South Wales cockroach, much to the delight of the sellout crowd. Queensland will be hoping to do the same in the next 80 minutes. Let's have a look at the two teams. For Queensland, Brian Needling is back in the forwards, and surprisingly, Colin Scott has retained his spot despite missing every kick at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Plenty of changes to the New South Wales side, in fact, 10 positional changes. Cliff Lyons is in at 5 8. Andrew Eddinghausen back on the wing and Peter Tunks and Phil Daly are the props. Barry Gomisal, a man that New South Wales people love to hate and a man that the Queenslanders say is the right man to control this game. But let me tell you, it's his eighth game that he's covered. In, the, in those games, five of those games, Queensland have got the penalties and there's the kickoff for the start of the Winfield. Game three as the series continues and Belcher brings it out and he's belted down very quickly. About 15 metres out from the line now. Queensland in possession, working the ball toward the 22. The defence in this game will be unbelievable in the first 15 minutes. Watch for the hits, watch for the breaks. As they wrestle them down now, three and four players in from New South Wales. Bringing the Queenslanders down as Kineski fires one out to Dowling. Dowling the big man. <laughs> right into some big men there too. Plenty of reception committee for Dowling. Back for Lewis for the clearer. No, he gets rid of it. Gets it to Belcher. Now they get the kick away. Gary Jack, though, well positioned at the moment. No, the ball has split him, and it'll go to Eddinghausen, his first touch now. He brings it back, and they get him inside the 22 with some good defence, and listen to the lane, hot crowd. Well, a bit of nerves out there, and there's a real big hit on Gary Jack. Oh, went down, that was Brian Niebling, the new face that's back in this Queensland side, the bearded Niebling, plenty of experience, took the place of Martin Bella. And out the Cliff Lyons. Lions on to Kenny. Kenny slips right back inside the Lions. Lions has made the first clean break. Goes on to O'Connor. O'Connor stepping with some good footwork there. Bought down midway. Halfway and quarter. Queensland center of the ground. The Blues on the attack. Great break by Lions. But it was Queensland that post the first points on the board after a controversial refereeing decision. Lewis's first kick to touch was a horror. This one was much better. And uh, we'll have the first scrum of the match. Now, will we see fireworks here? It's just 30 metres out from the New South Wales line. It's the New South Wales ball, but the penalty's gone to Queensland. Peter Cross. And there it was. So the penalty to Queensland. Lewis kicking for touch. 15 metres out from the uh, New South Wales line. He finally... Finds the touch line now. Here are the Maroons launching an attack as Langer switches play a little pass to Lewis. A to Belcher. Belcher for the line. Belcher gets the pass to Langer. The quarter winner. Well, a smart bit of football from Queensland. Finally, Bobby Linder scoring the try. The clever switching the play between Langer and Lewis. So the Queenslanders draw first blood. Watch it. Here's Langer. Back to Langer. And then a pass to Lewis. Lewis's pass was for Belcher. Belcher was caught so short and finally got that pass away to uh, Bobby Linder, who was backing up well. And it's flagged away. The score remains. Queensland 4, New South Wales 0 at Wang Park. Queensland hold the early lead, and they were nearly in a game. Look at the dummies going everywhere as Miles comes up the centre, stands in the tackle, unloads and gets the ball away to Jackson. Jackson has busted him again now. Jackson gets it to Layla. Layla caught from behind. He gets it away again. He's throwing the ball around like a hot potato. Layla, Layla, no. He just can't get there. A half a metre short, this little man. What a dynamo. He handled twice then. Queensland now on the attack, Lewis. Lewis, he's busted him. He throws a loose pass. In this series, luck continues to run New South Wales' way. Wally Lewis's miscued kick had this disastrous result. Back for Lewis. Charge down, picked up by uh, Pierce. Pierce has got O'Connor when he didn't see him, though. Finally goes back to Johnston. On it goes to Ball. Ball for the line. Ball has he got the pace. I'll bring it what he has. Ball is there for New South Wales. Well, the crowd booing, but that was a fair big and charge down by Pierce. Well, Wally 
blew his assignment here. He just put a low shot, was charged down. Pearson did great. Got it to Boyle. Well, Ooh. there's the try scorer, Boyle, but it was the charge down initially from uh, Wayne Pierce that set it. There's the kick from Lewis, charged down by Pierce. Picked up. I thought he should have given it to uh, O'Connor. He didn't see O'Connor. Elected to take the tackle. Finally got it to Johnston. And there's Boyle. He had about a 30-metre sprint. <laughs> but he had enough there to get there. Took the tackle with him. But Boyle was in for the equaliser. Good release on that play. There's Boyle. Well, there was some doubt whether he could make it, but he had the necessary pace. Michael O'Connor. Making no mistake, and New South Wales hit the front. Six points to four, the Blues lead at Lane Park. Soon after Queensland hits back with a try set up by front row of Greg Dow. Can they go in again? New South Wales have hit the front, 6-4. But Queensland coming back, he's down in the wall, tip kick, and that'll be a try! Oh yes, no worry about it, Shearer was there, and jumped on the loose ball, and that came off a kick of Greg Dowling. And there he's practicing that move all week long. Well, the big man with the boots, Greg Dowling, strikes back for Queensland. What a game, what a try! And this crowd has gone absolutely mad at Lane Park. Look at them. <laughs> the banana benders, we love them. Have a look at this. Dowling now. They've been practicing it all week at training. Shearer knew what he had to do when he was there, when he had to be there. Well, Dowling caressed one through here. Sure done fine. Picked up the ball on the hop. Well, he's not the most consistent kicker, but they've persevered with him. Not a difficult angle. And this one looks better. No, waved away again. Well, I think we'll have a change in kicker before this match is over. But there's the score, 8-6. Switch of play again. And Queensland throwing the ball around, and then if there's no way through, the big kick comes through. Eddinghausen. Oh, and look at the chases for Queensland. They're hungry tonight, Jack. They're chasing everything. It's a pretty fine kick, too. But he nailed, he nailed that one strong. He's got us. We've got New South Wales down there, 40 metres out. Sterling. Sterling looking for lines, finds lines. He gets it back to O'Connor. O'Connor dancing, standing, but there's no one there because Queensland grouped around him as he went down. And the tackle count restarts. And Neblin. They're pretty bunched up, Queensland. They're not too interested just at the moment. And Eskew offloading to uh, Liebling. Liebling, oh, it's been intercepted by Cliff Lyons! Lyons is in the clear! He's got Paul Angle tap by Lewis! Oh, desperation stuff from Lewis! Because Lyons was away! He's caught on the corner line! Penalty New South Wales! And it's against uh, Lewis... Now it's against Shearer holding, uh, holding him down for oh, that was desperation stuff. O'Connor makes no mistake, scores a level again, and we have about uh, nine and a half minutes to half time. Dale Shearer was having an outstanding gun. From Kinescu to Langer, back to Lewis. Lewis goes out the other way. There's the kick from Shearer once again. So Shearer really getting involved, and that's a great kick. Well, Dale Shearer, very busy tonight, Jack. He's coming half, kicking the ball, and his defence has been first class. He can also run. And, of course, scored a try, so he can't do much more than get involved in this game. So this scrum will pack now about uh, 16 metres out from the New South Wales line. P. Sterling to feed. And it's gone straight away a penalty to New South Wales because you can see for yourself the Queensland front row is on the deck. Now Kinney... Kenny lost the ball, Kenny. Looking to offload, held the ball out just a fraction. And Miles was able to take it from him. He's looking for a release. Went into the wrong bag. And Shearer, very, very dominant. And Sterling has picked the ball up, and I thought he knocked it on. So the referee. Well, some of the crowd doing, but I'm sure that Sterling had a little knock on there. 
It seemed to it seemed to think Queensland a little fatigue start to set in there. They haven't got that just that little pitch now. I think they're looking at that half time well. Now the scores locked at eight all. If the scores are level at full time, the uh, Winfield State of Origin Shield will be shared by these two teams. Of course, it's a whole way to go yet. Now Queensland. 10 metres inside the New South Wales half. Gilmister playing strongly tonight. Trying to offload it along the ground, picked up by Kineski. But uh, the referee saw a little knock on him there. And Kineski taking a little while to get to his feet. I not agree with you, Jack. I think Queensland is uh, will, will welcome this halftime siren. Sterling working this scrum. It's gone with the feed. Here's Lyons. A little chip through by Lyons. is picked up by O'Connor, but there's a penalty going to Queensland. Offside. Now he's ruled that uh, the receiver was in front of the kicker there. And here is the kick. Oh, gee, it was touch and go, wasn't it, Jack? Well, he was in front. <laughs> Did a bit. Yeah. After he kicked it, it was suddenly a poor, it was just a poor decision. So Shearer has the opportunity to put Queensland in front. And it looks pretty good. Right between the post. So Queensland lead 10 points to eight. Hey, yeah, that's exactly what we've said at training all, all week. Miles and Shearer have been putting them over. Why they persevere with Colin Scott, I don't know. Yeah, maybe they think that the other fellows are going to get butterflies or something. I don't know. Anyway, the Queensland side's in front by two points, ten points to eight with 30 seconds to half time. And here's Belcher. Almost to the quarter line. Now Langer running from dummy half and making about 10 or 12 metres. Finescu. And Liebling content to take the tackle. As the seconds tick down, you hear the siren in two seconds. And there it is. The half-time siren sounds players lead the field. Queensland lead New South Wales 10 points to 8 in the third and deciding Winfield State of Origin match. The game played at a furious pace. And what a try by Shearer to put Queensland ahead 10-8 at the break. It's going to be one hell of a second half to decide the series. And Queensland regain the, the crown of State of Origin Football Kings. Won the last two years by New South Wales. But a remarkable performance from Wally Lewis. He's played in all 20 matches. That is an incredible feat when you think of the standard and the toughness of this football. Right, the kickoff now for the second half taken by Sterling. Sterling brings it out towards the 22 and is barreled straight away by Gilmister. Oh, gee whiz, and Miles Gilmister tackling well tonight. He's big around the chest area, Gilmister, and he just lines them up and bang, they're gone. Davidson. Davidson out of one, but they quickly wrap him up. He's been heavily marked tonight. The South Sydney second rower playing for New South Wales. Okay, Sterling gets the, the boot to the ball and drives the ball down at the Queensland half. Belcher. Takes it back towards the halfway line. They take him about, uh, well, centimetres short of it. So, playing well, Gary Jack. Heavily hit two just a few minutes ago, but he's up and back at it. And they're just outside the 22 New South Wales. Roy Simmons, dummy half, gets it out to Sterling. Right now on to Pierce, down to O'Connor. O'Connor can't step tonight. Now all can't step. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's amazing on his feet, this fellow. But he just can't straighten. He can't get enough angle to get going. He's got to be running sideways. They're hemming him in. Queensland player down. We'll come back to that in a moment. As Belcher, Belcher takes it, Eddinghausen rides him on the back and holds him, and he'll play it there. Playing with the Eastern Suburbs Club in Sydney now, and a devastating uh, defender, Langer. Langer with a chip over the top. Langer, can he get the bounce? Oh, it's all picked up by Ross. They get it back to Langer. The little man trying to leave it up, and they put it down. But Queensland trying everything at the moment, and that little man, Lewis and Langer are right there all the time together. Look at Dowling. Colin Scott, hang your head in shame. 
boy, boy, what can they do this this side to get this man over the line? Watch this. Well, they had a tough pass to pick up. Oh, Gene Miles just oh, might have been an ordinary pass, Jack, but gee whiz, it was there. I mean, he had no one to beat. Colin Scott, look at the hands on the head. He agrees with me. <laughs> Battle League Queensland. Oh. What a breakdown. Yeah. Well, family to Queensland. This game has been action packed right from the start. Now they're taking a the tap. There's something on here as they rush for the line. Smile for the line. Ball can't go down. You can see it clearly. They couldn't get the ball down. The crowd cheering them on. Look at Roy Simmons. Simmons away from the uh, dummy half position. Made a very valuable 10 or 12 metres. Last tackle for the Blues. Sterling. Down for Colin Scott. No, he's knocked that one on too. Out of the touch line anyway. Well, Colin Scott not having a happy night. Tony Curry doing some uh, stretching exercises. Sterling. Our lines. Kenny. Kenny getting a lovely short pass away to Michael O'Connor. The step. Oh, look at that. Last tackling from Lewis. O'Connor seemed to step right into him. Body contact is frightening in this game. Now here's Sterling. Last tackle signal for New South Wales. Now it comes to Pierce. And Pierce is kicking. Straight into the waiting arms of Shearer. Then he returns the kick. There's no one at home. Here's Shearer. Gary Jack getting to it first, though. Jack will get to it, but he's 10 metres out from his own line while the Tony fell on it. And he got away from Shearer. Now he's to the quarter line. And a little Alan Langer putting it to the ground. And Jack stays down there. Now the crowd going. Now, it's with Kenny again. Another lovely pass from Kenny to O'Connor. Oh, look at that one for a pass to Johnston. Johnston's got support from the Lions. Away they go, New South Wales will score. Lions got the pass, going down to the touch. Still alive, but he's putting the touch. Touch that flag is up. Oh, how close was that? There was some football in that yardage. Oh, it was going towards Queensland goal to start in the New South Wales goal. Now and Lyons, the turnaround came. Lyons is down. But back to the opportunity that slipped away for New South Wales. Simmons will play it back to Tunks. Tunks last tackle, New South Wales. Kenny, Kenny with a little chip and kick it to big deep. No, it's not a bad goal. So close. Appeal there from uh, McGaw. Let's have a look at it again. There's the little chip kick through. And the charge was on. Well, gee whiz, it's hard to pick. He's claimed it there. Last tackle signal for Queensland there. Just on the halfway mark. Back for Lewis. Down again for Gary Jack. Who know he's played a game of football tonight. Jack, out of one, out of two. Still going Jack into the clear. Getting up towards the quarter line before he's put down. Another very good run from Gary Jack. The ball played out by Lewis. Touched by Lewis. It should be signaled, the tackle count should be restarted. It's not. Now here's Kenny. Kenny to the halfway mark. Got a pass away to uh, McGaw. And the referee missed it, a, uh, restarting that tackle count. Then it was played by, by Lewis. And he missed it. Here's Sterling. Simmons back to Sterling. Good hit from Gilmister on Boyle. Boyle lost it behind him, picked it up again. Bob Lindner and all the other Queensland forwards were unrelenting in their pursuit of victory. Dowling being treated there at the back of your picture frame. As Lewis, Lewis with a bit of room to move. And this is Belcher. Belcher gets it on the goal. He can't take it. Wayne Pierce takes it though and runs it out for the Blues. And they drive him back. Oh, great defence from Queensland. New South Wales driven back. And Queensland will get the ball back. So the Reds on the attack again. Here's Colin Scott. Colin Scott makes a charge and he can out. He can't unload the ball. Oh, it goes loose. They have gone by Tony Curry and we'll have a scrum 10 metres out from the New South Wales line. Well, Ian Maurice, they've withstood the pressure, but can they get back to their end of the park? Well, they're going to have to do something. Five minutes remaining and it's Sterling at the scrum base to Jack. 
Queensland have played magnificently. Their defence has been faultless. Well, they were offside in that play. They were standing up there waiting for Jack. It was overlooked by the referee. You know, there's a problem in the end goal area, but uh, the referee ruling a goal line dropout. It's Linda who chased that kick through. is able to fall on it. Queensland lead 10 points to 8. New South Wales have it all to do with Gary Jack. He's drop kick. Down for Shearer. He's played magnificently tonight, Shearer. He's uh, about 30 metres out. And a little slow to get to his feet. Now for Scott. Well, Queensland is not in any rush. Canescu, now to Horton. New South Wales have got to get the football. Back for Dowling. It's content to take the tackle. Nothing silly here for Queensland. Four tackles gone. Lewis calling for it. He has it. It's for French. Fort. Another. Last tackle signal for Queensland. It's back for Vorton. Wasn't expecting it to kick through. And the chase. Johnson is there for New South Wales and handballs it over the dead ball line. Gee, I think he should have had to take that ball and try and get out of that in goal area. He had to try and do something. There didn't appear to be a lot of pressure on him then, did there? The chases were a long way back. You can see for yourself they're nowhere near him. Gary Jack with the goal line dropout. Three minutes to go. Belcher has it. Away to Gilmister. Gilmister straight into the New South Wales defence. Queensland lead 10 points to eight. He's lost it behind him. Referee calls it back for a scrum. So this scrum will go down about 30 metres out from the New South Wales line. So New South Wales feed. It's gone with the feed. Sterling offloads to Gary Jack. He's caught, got it back to Eddinghausen. Eddinghausen across field. Trying to straighten now, but uh, caught by Langner, who's had a magnificent game for the uh, Queensland side. It's with Sterling. It's across for Davidson. Can he offload? No, he can't. Look at that swarming Queensland defence. Lost the ball as well. Linda came away with it. Linda back over the quarter line. Two minutes remaining, and Queensland have the football and the lead. Now, 15 metres out. Taking it very slowly now, Queensland, as uh, Vorton runs blindside. Content to take the tackle, but now he's only nine metres out from the New South Wales line. A minute and a half remaining. Canescu. At this stage of the game, a metre gain is like half the length of the field. Gilmister getting it back to Canescu. Caught by Tunks. New South Wales trail by two. They don't have the football as Lewis puts a little chip kick through. Taken by New South Wales Johnston and thrown in the touch. That could be the ball game. One minute to go. New South Wales is going to have to do something bordering on a miracle here to get out of this. Langer feeds for Queensland. One by uh, Queensland. Langer played it back to Gilmister. Gilmister barging at the line, caught by Pierce. But they're using up valuable seconds. Linder at dummy half. Interception! O'Connor swooped on it. Last chance, last quarter of the night for New South Wales. But they're a long way from the goal line. He certainly missed that. O'Connor just jumped the gun. He was five yards offside. Now, New South Wales in possession, but gee, they're only about 15 metres out. And there's a countdown on 17 seconds. It's with Sterling. A long ball out there for O'Connor. Switching back inside. Keeping it alive now with uh, Kenny. Kenny knocked down by Queensland. Tackle count should restart, but time will beat him, I think. Time will beat him. Queensland fans have gone crazy. Referee Gobbasol says that's it. That's the ball game. The Winfield State of Origin Series has gone back to Queensland. 
Queensland have defeated New South Wales by 10 points to 8. There it is. 10-8. Queensland win the match. Two tries to one. Penalties were six apiece. Scrums were New South Wales caught up towards the end, but Scrums favoured Queensland 9-8. to eight. But Queensland win the State of Origin Series for 1987. Congratulations to them. What a furious game of football it has been. They can feel well proud of themselves, the Queensland side. I don't think anybody would argue that they're the better side tonight. And there's the winning coach, Wayne Bennett. Brett Kenny and Gene Miles. Well, Kenny can still raise a smile. A magic moment for Wayne Bennett. His first State of Origin series as the Queensland side come over to the broadcasting side of the field. Wave to their fans. Wayne Bennett, coached them last year without any success, has won the series, has won the Winfield series for them. Absolutely amazing scenes here at Lane Park. Queensland have won the series back and unbelievably not a point was scored in that exciting second half. This is what State of Origin Rugby League is all about. Hard and fast, but played in a great sporting spirit. State of Origin Football, Rugby League at its very best.